Hello folks, welcome back to another episode of the Liverpool Complete Playthrough. I'm going to switch things up. I have been saying that today would be Tottenham and Watford. Change of plan. Just Tottenham today. EFL Cup semi-final. It should be a good one. Next episode we'll do Watford and Hull together and the end of the transfer window. Probably going to be a little bit of a longer episode actually. But today then, hopefully we can seal a few deals and uh, yeah, get through in the, the game against Tottenham. It's the second leg. We've already got the 1-1 as you might remember. Um, it was a tight game. You know, Daniel Sturridge got a goal for them. Michelle Form's own goal. It was it was highlight filled, let me tell you. Uh, so today then we move forward and hopefully get through to our final in our season as Liverpool manager. Of course, in real life, Liverpool went out at this stage, lost to Southampton uh, over over the two legs and uh, there's been a large spot of support from the fans for my attacking intent thank you very much I certainly hope so we've struck a balance between our natural instinct to take the game to our opponents and uh, yeah, I think people read too much into the result of, in one season we'll carry on though uh, Tottenham obviously had a very good start to the season and have continued that on uh, they are currently top of the table so it's the, the heavyweights of this of this tie um, just Inigo Martinez has gone to Manchester United um Enigo Martinez has gone to Manchester. I didn't offer him that. He's gone to Ma So we're going to be looking for a centre-back in this episode um, because Enigo Martinez has... Forget the older strikers called Peter Crouch. Let's... 83 million. Let's go and buy a defender, shall we? I don't know how this has happened. Right, let's see who's available then. Virgil van Dijk again comes up. Costas Manalas. Now that would be a player that would be potentially... Good. Let's, let's, let's go... Yeah, let we, d defenders... We're going to go for Manolas off the bat. 20 million. See what they say. 76 million. We'll come down to around 25. Come on. Let's be reasonable here. 26 million. Let's see what they say. Um, we won't just go for one. We'll go for a few. Raw McNoley. Now, we looked at him in the summer. I think we're going to go back in and try and try and tie him down. 70 million is his value. We'll go in at 23.5 million and see what they say. Uh, anyone else there? Howardes is a pretty good defender. Not as quick as some of the others, though. Not as, not as athletic. And, of course, we're currently here without Joel Matip, who's away at the African combinations. That was just bad planning. Uh, Rudiger could be an option. I mean, marking's a little bit lax, if we're honest. Uh, Jonathan Tarr is there as well. Not really technically good enough at this stage. Uh, Socrates, we'll call him. I think it's Papa Stathopoulos. I was confident, and then it was ruined. Really good defender. Heading is his only weak point, really. Everything else, though, is pretty good. I think we'll, we'll do a cheeky bid for him as well. We'll go around sort of the £18 million mark. Not spend quite as much because of his, his heading or lack of heading. Um, Dragovic from Bayer Leverkusen. Again, heading is poor for a centre-back. Will it avoid him at all costs? Winston Reid is a Premier League option. Jason Murillo never actually left Inter, so he's still around as well, but he's out with an injury currently, so that won't be that useful. Uh, Matthias Ginter from Dortmund. Now, he would be... An interesting signing, of course. Jürgen Klopp's former club. Uh, Dendonke is more of a central midfielder, so we'll ignore that as well. Um, right, we've, we've gone in for a few there. I've, it's Because of that, I've had to react. I wasn't expecting to have to react. Peter Crouch, I'm sitting beside him. Um, we've had, well, he's not yet on a chair, he's just sat on the floor, but we were at the same height. Delighted to welcome Peter to the club. Having him back is good for everyone. I'll look for bargains if needs be. I'm delighted we can get him with less pressure, etc., we need to press on and buy new players. I'm hoping you'll have a big contribution. I think it'll be a lift for everyone at the club. The sort of standards fodder. Anyway, that's just that was my subscriber. I mean, you couldn't hear that, but I just got a follower on Twitch and I heard the sound through my headphones because I'm using OBS to record. That was I thought I was live for a second. That was that was very strange. Um, let's carry on. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to happen. Right, let's carry on. I mean, you didn't even hear it, so it would have sounded weird for you. I mean, it wouldn't have sounded weird for you. You'd have heard nothing, and I'm still talking about it. Let's carry on. Uh, Joel Matip wants to talk about leaving to join Barcelona. The one defender we do have now wants to leave. Um, Joel. Listen, you're a free transfer. You're currently not even here, so I don't know how you've made contact with me like this. Um, although you are a footballer of mine. I'm going to say no. Look, we, we, look we're going to try and play in the Champions League. Um, look, we'll get, if we don't qualify this season, you can leave if you like. He says that's fine, and he'll fight to get us into the Champions League. That's all I want, Joel. That's all I've ever wanted. Now... I would have said, let's just wait for that Martinez deal to go through. Uh, he's now just been coming in for defenders, left, right, centre. No, Mane um, wants us to strengthen in the window. Mignolet's now ill. He's got a cold, so he can't play. Matip's also ill. There's a virus going around, people. The, the Ron Mignoli bid's been rejected. Roma have come up with 70 million. It's all happening. It's a good job we're not playing two games. Okay, well, Ron Mignoli, we're going to go, go in for again. 28 million. That's the final offer. Man, alas, this is ridiculous. 30 million, that's the final offer. Matip's going to miss the EFL Cup final through injury. I thought he was at the African Cup of Nations. I don't know where he is. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's back. Anyway, we'll carry on. It's been it's a bit of a calamity, folks, if I'm completely honest. Um, 
they've got a cup game coming up. Like, like that was the most important thing a minute ago. The transfer window shuts in a few days. Th- look, things can happen very quickly, so I wouldn't rule anything in or out. Look, it's definitely going to happen. We've got to skip through some of this stuff because I've got to get to this game as well as try and bring in some superstar players. Um, defenders are becoming a problem for me. Is there anyone else we can bring in that would be game changing in our side right now? That's the question. So, oh, MA Shan's suspended for the upcoming game. Carriers is going to have to play instead of Mignolet. This is becoming horrendous. Uh, right, let's think about this. Do I still want to bring in a superstar in a, in a sort of attacking midfield position? We've got Pastore, but he's not really featured, has he? Is there someone else there that I'm looking at this list? I mean, look at by all means, folks. Look at it with me. Is there anyone there you think I should go for? I won't record the next episode until this one's out, so I will be able to take your advice on board. Raheem Sterling. Now, of course, he's come through the Manchester City Academy from a young age, and he's, you know, he's been a superstar for them, um, but it could potentially be of oh apparently he plays for i never that went past me i wouldn't actually i wouldn't be massively opposed to getting him back how much would they want for him okay well that's just not gonna happen is it so let's move on um anyone else on this list again if you could spot any names you're thinking he would suit what we've got going on i think realistically right it's all well and good be going out and buying like a superstar winger or something like this but an attacking midfielder but we've got coutinho in there who is better than most players like if, if i saw a player like this i'd go do you know what yeah he could come in and fit our team so there's no point in getting someone similar to him really um i look at have a story on the bench and just think the same thing as you at this point. Um, right, we'll carry on, though. We're still trying to bring in a defender. We've sold Lovren in this window, don't forget. So there's still time, and with, what is it, six days to go? I think from next, 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 okay, let's put it this way. Next episode will most definitely be a bit of a transfer episode. We'll be trying to wrap some things up. Should we go out all out for Manolas? Some people will be shouting at their screens going, yeah, just get him. Why not? If this is only one season, go and get him. We might do another season. You've got to remember, we might do another season. I don't know. So I've got to think about this logically. Um... Socrates, they've come back with way too much. I'll just go in at 20. We're going to, we'll negotiate. I'll probably go up to 25 if I have to. Um, that's now become public knowledge as well, that transfer. That's good. That's what we wanted. Right, Tottenham, the game that we'll all be waiting for. I, for one, am very excited. Arsenal are probably going to be in the final. They won their first leg 5 0 against Cardiff, so that looks pretty likely. Um, and we've got one injury, well, not injury concern, but suspension concern. Uh, Emre Shan's going to come out then. We're going to put Wijnaldum in instead. And then, well, Mignolet's kind of back to full fitness. We'll put him on the bench, I guess. Uh, we've got options in the middle as well. We've obviously got Milner there, as well as Alana Gruic is there as well. But this side, do you know what? I actually don't like a really on that right hand side at all. I'm going to play Lalana instead as an inside forward. I just don't like. Actually, we're going to switch this around. We're going to play Lana as inside forward on this side and Kieta as a winger on the other side on that attacking role. I just don't really like Origi as a winger. I don't think he's cut out to do the job very well. So uh, if he's going to play, he's going to play as a striker. We'll have him now then off the bench. Right, this is going to be the team then. Karius in goal. Klein, Gomez, Clavan. That's a nightmare, isn't it? Okay. Klein, Gomez, Clavan. Klasanica right back. Uh, we've got Wijnaldum, Henderson, Coutinho, Firmino, and Kieta and Lallana on either side. Uh, instructions are as follows. We're exploiting the flanks, looking for the overlap while retaining possession at the same time. Everything else is very, very standard. Not much changes there. As we go into the game then, against Tottenham, they've got Daniel Sturridge, I think. They may well go with Harry Kane, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. And uh, this is our chance then to get to Wembley, to get to a cup final. Um, in, in Jürgen Klopp's first season, of course, Liverpool got to two finals, the Europa League and the uh, the League League Cup. League Cup, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, and didn't win either of them. So we're going to try our best to get to a final here today. We're apparently favourites for the game. They're going with Sturridge up front, Eriksen in behind, Lamella's there, as is uh, Son on the left-hand side, Deli Ali and Eric Dyer, Vertong and Alderweireld, Walker Rose and Lloris. You have to say, despite no Harry Kane, that is pretty much Spurs at full strength. So that is going to be a challenge, and we're not at full strength. We have Joe Gomez and Clavan at the back. Good good planning, Ben. Good defensive planning. Good transfers as well, Ben. Well done. Start the game. Jesus Christ. Okay, here we are then. For this semi-final at Anfield, the Anfield crowd will surely play a part in this game and uh, it's going to be an interesting one. It's going to be a good game, hopefully. A game that I think we can win if we play to our full potential. Our attacking sort of six are very, very good. It's whether our defensive efforts will be enough to stop Daniel Sturridge, who is in great form for Spurs this year. So Daniel Klein goes on one of the most exciting runs you've ever seen. Firmino with the volley, Lloris with the save, and uh, it's going to be rolled out by Lloris to Alderweireld, out to Vertonghen now, and there's going to be a chance for Spurs to maybe attack, but no, we've come straight back at them as Keita with a strike on oh, Keita finds the back 
even at 34 seconds on the clock when he put it in. Chiesa on that right hand side playing in a more attacking role, which is why he's so far up when the ball is, is launched forward. We'll look at this again in three dimensions. For Tongan clears it up to Daniel Sturridge. It's intercepted by Joe Gomez, who plays one of the most spectacular through balls I think we're ever likely to see from a centre back. Just watch that again. We'll slow it down. Play there, Ben. The ball goes forward then. Daniel Sturridge, you think he's, he's going to have that. Gomez gets ahead of him, knees it, and then half volleys it into the feet of Keita. I mean, it's the most perfect ball you're ever likely to see. I think that's, is that Deli Ali in the middle? It is. Over his head, into Keita then, who uh, takes one touch, moves it forward nicely, and then if we just speed up this replay of us slightly, bangs it on the half volley. Lloris gets hands to it. Not enough. What a start to the game. Oh my dearie me. Skip that then. And let's carry on. But what a start to the game. 1-0 Liverpool. The, the, the ball from Joe Gomez, I cannot get enough of. Do we need to sign a centre-back when he's doing such things? Let's see how he defends for the rest of the game. But my word, that was fun to watch. Okay then. 1-0 uh, on the clock. 11 minutes gone. One minute on the clock, sorry. One minute on the scoreline. <laughs> 11 minutes gone. And uh, if we can now keep them out, that well, that's that's really the, the new game, isn't it? Can we keep Spurs out? Can we keep a clean sheet? Can we score a second goal? As uh, wijnaldum has got it in the steep position, plays it into Adam Lallana. Lovely little back heel from him. The ball on this left-hand side, crossed in towards Firmino. Cleared to Jordan Henderson, who uh, may find room on this right-hand side. Klein's found a lot of room on that right-hand side. Oh, and Klein, in the near post, has scored the goal. 21 minutes on the clock, Nathaniel Klein. First goal of the season, and what a time to score. It reminds me of a goal, actually. He scored for Southampton, where he was bombed coming forward with it and find the back of the net at the cop end. I th actually, this is actually technically the Anfield Road end, if you think about where the dugout is. But either way, great little finish from Nathaniel Klein. Absolutely loving it. Look at us go. We're on fire here. Oh, dearie me. Um, I actually don't like the fact that we can see the tunnel on the far side. That's not how Anfield's normally viewed. I feel like we should change that. We can change it, right? We can put it on reversed. There we go. That's going to be very confusing, though, for this, for this episode. We'll do that in the future. We'll carry on as we were. As half-time approaches then, 2-0 in the lead. Of course, as well, we have an away goal against Spurs. They currently don't have any away goals because they haven't scored. Uh, I'm very happy with the way things are going. Keep it up. We're going to passionately say you weren't that bad, but I believe you can do more, especially our attacking players. You think about where our goals have come from. That one Chiesa strike, we've not really seen Coutinho, Lalana in the in the game at all so far, um, but so far we've got ourselves a 2-0 lead. In fact, I say we've not seen them. Who got the assist for that second goal? Uh, it was Coutinho, so we'll give him the credit then. Did find Klein on the overlapping run as uh, maybe it spurs his chance to attack a little bit. And Kudu's on the pitch and Kudu, well, we're a minute and a bit into the second half and George's Kevin and Kudu with the goal. Spurs back in the game 3 2. A second away goal for Spurs, of course, would, co would cause a problem. Um, for those that don't know, in the EFL Cup, if it's level at full time, you play the extra time, but away goals do count after extra time. So um, that's something we've got to be aware of as well. 2 1. Do we just stay as we are, though? It was a great first-half performance. I've given them what I thought was a lot more confidence. Vincent Janssen's come on, come on for Daniel Sturridge. It's not been Daniel's day. As uh, Yeah, well, he's come on. The formation stays the same, though, for Spurs. That's why I have it here, just to see if, if any changes are made. And the time is ticking down here. My word, there's 13 minutes left. I mean, this awful position where we're winning... So should I really change anything because we're playing so well? Or is it worth maybe bringing on Divock Origi or Peter Crouch for... Uh for Firmino. We're going to bring Danny Ings on. He's done well in this, this competition. We'll get him out there for Firmino, who's had an indifferent day. It's not going to affect anything shape-wise. We're going to stay the same, but it may well be a case that we can catch them on the break. Because the time, by the way, has just flown by. That is time up. That is time up. It's game over. It's Liverpool 2, Spurs 1. And just like that, we go through to the final. Unless Cardiff have won 6-5, we'll be playing Arsenal. Let's see then. In the other result then, Cardiff got a 1-1 against Arsenal. Nothing to be scoffed at. Not a bad result. And it takes us then to the final. That early, uh, early couple of goals for us in the game has done the job. And there we are then, Liverpool progress in the EFL Cup. We will face Arsenal in the final of that. That'll be in a few weeks' time. I imagine it's not actually given a date yet, but what a result. If you've enjoyed today's episode, then please do leave a like. If you want to see some more, subscribe to the channel and leave your suggestions for signings in the comment section. As I say, I won't be recording until this video's gone up so I can see what you've said. With love, with care, from me, Benji. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.